Grand Conjunction, Jupiter, Saturn, and the Reshaping of History, a video created, directed, and produced by Reverend Dr. Dickie Joe Mullen. In this video, Dr. Mullen will explore the associations between Jupiter, Saturn, and the reshaping of history based on their interaction. This is astrologer and paranormal investigator Dr. Dickie Joe Mullen in Orlando, Florida, with some information about the world around us, the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction. This is called the Great Conjunction, or coming together of the planets. It happens every 20 years or so. Astrology's Great Conjunction brings a pattern of profound events which reshape history in different ways. The Great Conjunction, the coming together of the two huge planets, the celestial heavyweights in our universe, Jupiter and Saturn, um, really create an important and weighty universe and representation of what our solar system holds for us. Years ago, the RCA company did a study of how Jupiter and Saturn affected radio waves, and that's just one very tangible way to look at this conjunction. On December 21st of 2020, at 6.22 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, the Great Conjunction will be exact at zero degrees of Aquarius, 29 minutes. The last time there was a great conjunction, it was the new millennium, the year 2000. History fans will recall how that 20-year interval has always marked major milestones in the human condition. For the past 140 years or so, the great conjunction took place in the same element, then it will mutate into another element. 2020 marks such a mutation of the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction. It's been in Earth signs for many, many years, and then it will change to air signs. This promises that 2020 brings a new twist on world affairs for many decades. What might we expect? Well, this powerful combination of planets last took place in Aquarius 600 years ago. That's when the Ming Dynasty established Beijing as the capital of China. At the same time, the Ottomans were engaged in a seven-year struggle um, com competing for the throne of Wallachia, the historic region of Romania. This ended in the formation of the Prussian Federation. Against the cyclical backdrop of time, the great conjunction in Aquarius promises new values, new types of world government, and out of the chaos can emerge a completely different world. Economic values and ecology should both be involved as both of these are ruled by Earth, the outgoing element. One thing is certain, it will certainly be intriguing. Many times there are references to the 20-year presidential death cycle in the history of the United States, and presidents elected during a zero year were thought to be jinxed not to make it through office. This all began in 1840 when the conjunction began its um, cycle in Earth, and William Henry Harrison, who was elected president in 1840, died of pneumonia in office in April of 1841. And then, of course, in 1860, Abraham Lincoln was elected, and he died by assassination on April the 15th of 1865. In 1880, President James Garfield was elected president. He was assassinated on the 19th of September, 1881. President William Kinley in 1900 was elected president. In 1901, um, less than a year in office, um, a little, I'm sorry, a little over a year in office, September 14th, he was assassinated. 
Warren G. Harding in 1920 um, was elected president, and by August 2nd of 1923, he had had a heart attack and died in office. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was elected president in 1940. On April 12th of, eight, of, of um, 1945, he died of a cerebral hemorrhage. And of course, John F. Kennedy was elected president in 1960. November 22nd of 1963, President Kennedy was assassinated. Ronald Reagan, in 1980, used astrology. Um, astrologer Carol Ryder, who was a famous uh, California astrologer, well known in the astrological community, um, selected all of Ronald Reagan's dates to file to run for office, and he never lost an election. Maybe that saved him, or maybe the 20-year presidential death cycle was waning by then. In 1980, um, Ronald Reagan was elected president. March 30th of 1981, he was shot. There was an assassination attempt, but he survived. And then in 2000, George W. Bush was elected president. And on the 10th of May, 2005, a live grenade was thrown at President Bush, but it failed to detonate. Possibly prayers, affirmations, or celestial energies were involved, but these were serious assassination attempts. So, we will have a presidential election in November of 2020, the 20-year cycle, and this conjunction is exact at the winter solstice on December of 2020. It'll be interesting to see what happens with the president who is elected in 2020 because of the change, and Aquarius has a special tie with the horoscope of the United States, um, maybe because it rules democracy, but many presidents and government officials have the sign of Aquarius prominent in their birth charts, and I think it's going to be a very, very interesting time to look at astrologically. The grand conjunction on an average of 20 of 19 to 20 years throughout history has been observed by astrologers and linked to the rise and fall of royalty, leaders, and great people. Many believe that the biblical star of Bethlehem was a great conjunction that took place about the year 7 BC between Jupiter and Saturn. And when these planets come together, this will be visible in the sky, they are very bright, they're the two brightest stars. And an election or inauguration year here throughout the world can be extremely significant. Let's look at what else this transit might do. Jupiter and Saturn will be within orb of a conjunction for many months around the time that this is exact. And this can show a time of great opportunity growth for many good fortune. In a natal chart, every 12 years, Transiting Jupiter will conjoin natal Saturn, and about every 28 to 29 years, Saturn will combine with Jupiter the other way around. And this one, um, at an early Aquarius, represents a tie with the fixed star Altair. Boldness, confidence, bravery, and ambition can be suggested by many. The asteroid Juno will sextile the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction, and this shows some changes with marriage unions. Remember, Juno was the goddess who was the wife of Zeus, or Jupiter, and was the wife of the four asteroids, which represent faces of femininity. The daughter, the mother, and the sister around Jupiter are the asteroids in the asteroid belt. And Jupiter rules soulmates along with Juno. True love and commitment 
What does that mean? I think that the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction will affect that. There are large groups of people born with this. In 1940, Dr. Stephen Hawking was born with this, for example, and those born at 20-year intervals for many months are affected by it. Uh, we, have, we have Templeton here about to make a cameo appearance, but he wasn't born with the conjunction, so Templeton, stay right there, please. And People that are born with Jupiter conjunct Saturn in the natal chart can be very prosperous. A well-defined career path can be the key to success. Being well organized, a systematic approach to the future, the right education, which is ruled by Jupiter, can, um, can have, go a long way toward leading to success. Hard work and training can make those who are born with this conjunction exceptional people and very focused and very influential. Some celebrities who were born, besides Dr. Stephen Hawking, with Jupiter conjunct Saturn in the past include Gustav Flaubert, John Lennon, Alexandra Dumas, Walt Disney certainly affected many people in the Orlando area. Megan, Duchess of Sussex, was born with that conjunction in 1980. Also, we have Placido Domingo, Neil Diamond, Galileo, Bruce Lee, Gene Roddenberry of Star Wars fame, Ringo Starr, and Zara Phillips, said to be the favorite grandchild, Princess Anne's daughter of the Queen were all born with Jupiter conjunct Saturn. So in your own family and in your own birth chart, look to see if this conjunction is prominent. And children born in the year 2020 um, can be very interesting people. This is Dickie Jo Mullen sharing some interesting, hopefully, um, stories and legends about this exceptional and unusually strong planetary combination.